What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quitty Bags and welcome back to our Minecraft Bedrock Guide series. So today my dudes we are working on episode 9 and what are we going to be doing today? Well enchanting of course. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading down back home and we're actually going to be going over how to enchant. We're going to be making an enchantment table. We're going to be making an enchantment room. We're going to be making lots of bookshelves. Lots and lots of bookshelves. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get the supplies to make the bookshelves. I'm going to show you guys what, how much sugar cane you need. All that fun stuff. So that is what the agenda of today is, my dudes. Now, before we get started on this video, my dudes, episode 9, the guide series. I can't believe we're on episode 9 already. But before we get started, let's see if we can smash a 40 like goal yes that is huge but let's see if we can do it we're going for a big goal today because we're on a big number number nine so uh let's see if we get 40 likes and also if you're new to the channel make sure to smash that sub button and also hit the bell we are on the road to 5k my dudes we hit 4k the other day i made a big cake i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, but yeah so let's get this episode started and let's head home uh, one thing about this XP farm and grinder I've noticed um, it only works at night for me I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's too it's too bright up there um, Because the Sun's right above it and maybe it's too um, bright inside of the cobblestone But uh, I've noticed it's only working during the night time and it works good at night I get good stuff at night, but um, during the day. It's just not working out so uh, I got our level all the way up to level 30 um, before I started I was grinding the XP farm and then I also went to the nether and uh, in the nether I honestly mined so so much quartz I'm excited to show you guys I'll show you guys once we get back all right we're gonna park our boat right here yep to you all right so here's all the quartz I collected I got six stacks of quartz and it only took about 20 minutes so that's pretty good I'm all the way up to level 30 again all right so what we're gonna be doing first uh, first things first we need three pieces of obsidian and two diamonds and we need a lot of books so i'm gonna get this chest all cleared out and we're gonna put the supplies what we need into this chest to build the enchantment table um so i'm gonna get all this cleared out and we'll uh, go from there all right so i rounded up all the supplies we currently have for what we're gonna need so we're gonna need 15 bookshelves so 15 bookshelves um to make a bookshelf you need three piece well you need three books so you need three pieces of paper for each book and one piece of leather so um 15 times three is 45 yeah <laughs> my math's correct um so we're gonna need 45 pieces of leather so we're gonna have to go out and look for some leather um, sugar cane, I think we need a little bit more sugar cane. I'm not really sure. We can check right now, actually. So, all you gotta do to make, um, paper is, uh, place it in a three line like this, a one by three, and, uh, boom, you have now paper. So, we're gonna see how much paper we need in total. All right, if my math is correct, we need 135 pieces of paper. Um, so we're definitely gonna need more because you need three per book and then three books per per bookshelf and we need 15 bookshelves so three times three is nine and then nine times 15 because we need 15 bookshelves is 135 i think i'm correct on this math i don't know i haven't been to school in a long time okay uh, but i'm pretty sure that's how much paper we need but i guess we'll see as we go all right so first things first um i'm gonna go ahead and go grab obsidian we're gonna go all the way down to the mines and go grab a piece of obsidian because we're gonna need that all right i decided to come down here and cheat and just steal a piece from our portal um, that way I'm staying safe and I don't have to go down into the mines because we are level 30 and I do not want to um, Die and not be level 30 anymore. So I'm just gonna steal a couple pieces off the corners that way It looks uh, looks good still and uh, we could put like crack stone or something in the corners like this This doesn't look that bad. Look at that. All right now We have enough obsidian for our enchantment table now The only problem here is now we are missing out on leather um, so we're gonna need roughly 17 pieces of leather um, So let's see if we have 17 cows because cows give out one to two pieces of leather um, If we kill some of the cows then we might have enough leather now You could also get leather off horses. I know it sounds cruel, but you can also get them off horses um, Or you could go to the nether and uh, some of the piglins. I mean not the piglins the um Hoglins, I believe they're called. Um, they actually give you leather too. So I'm gonna kill some cows and we'll see how much leather we have. Oh god, creeper. Creeper, creeper, don't kill my cows. Don't kill my cows. Please. Alright, we are successful. We've gotten 16 pieces of le- Oh wait, no, we needed 17. Oh damn. 
I feel bad now. All right, now we are successful. We have 18 pieces of leather, so we are good on that part now. All right, so if you guys don't have enough sugar cane, which I do not at the moment, um, I'm gonna show you guys um, a quick little tutorial on how to make a zero tick sugar cane farm. Um, this farm's gonna get you a ton of sugar cane pretty fast, like not super fast, but it's gonna be handy just to have because it's an automatic farm. So I'm gonna get the supplies together and then I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and then we'll make it really quick. Um, and I will do it like a bit of a tutorial. I'll make it fast though, make it not take up too much time out of this video. And uh, then after that, we'll get into making the enchantment room and getting into the actual enchanting part. Okay, so I'm gonna get the supplies ready and I'll be right back. All right, my dude. So I got all the supplies ready to make this zero tick sugarcane farm. So all you're going to need is one piece of sugarcane, one chest, one piece of dirt, two water buckets, 14 pieces of glass, two um, glass panes, um, 18 pieces of wood, one piece of stair, uh, one redstone torch, 11 pieces of redstone, one hopper, one piston, two dispensers, two redstone repeaters, and one lever. So we're going to need all these things and we're going to bring them with us and then we're going to get building this thing at ASAP. So first of all, I'm going to build this a little farther away from home. Um, eventually, we'll make it all squared up and make paths out here and make it look really good. But uh, to start, we're going to do a V shape uh, like this. And then we're going to delete these blocks. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our lever. And we're going to place it here. And then we need our redstone torch underneath like that. Then we're going to grab our redstone repeater like this. And then we're going to put redstone out like that. And then we're going to turn this off. All right, so at the second piece of redstone, we're going to build out like this. Whoops, I mistake. You only needed two pieces of blocks. And we're going to grab our dispensers and place them like this. Big old cannon shooting into the air. Connect your redstone to them. Uh, we're going to grab our stairs, place one there. Then we're going to build up with temporary blocks like this. And we're going to grab our chest and place it here. And then we're going to put our dispenser leading into the chest like that. Make sure you crouch so it leads into it. All right, now we're going to surround this like that. And same on the other side like that. And we're going to put our piece of dirt like that. All right, now here's the tricky part. Grab both your water buckets and uh, I'll show you guys what we're going to do. Okay, you're going to switch this lever. And then you're going to come over to one dispenser, place a bucket in the one, and then place a bucket in the other. Now, if I can see up there... I might need to grab some dirt blocks here. All right, now if you see one bucket of water is going in, one bucket's out, one bucket's out. If it looks like this, you got it right. If uh, both buckets of water are going um, like up and down at the same time, then you got it wrong and just redo it until you get it so it's like this. But this is how it should look. All right, so we can turn that off for now. now I wish we had scaffolding, but um, we haven't been to the jungle yet, so that's going to have to come soon. So uh, what we're going to do is put a block there and then put our piston like that. And then uh, we're going to surround this thing with glass, basically. And then we're going to put the uh, black stained glass in front like that. That way, uh, none of the, your um, sugar cane will fly out of here. And then uh, we can put a little roof on it, too, like that. Of course, I forgot to plant the sugar cane before I was in there. But make sure you plant the sugar cane. All right, so now we're going to add our redstone repeater and click it to one delay like that. Now we're going to make a little staircase here. Um, so then we can actually get the um, redstone all the way to the top here. So just like that, I ran out of wood, so I had to go grab some more. Um, okay, so now we should be able to use our four pieces of redstone here, and boom, it should work. Um, now, oh, why did this break off? That was weird. All right, so it does seem to be working. Now, we're going to leave this for a bit, and uh, eventually it should get us a lot of sugar cane. I'm sorry if this is really loud. I'm not sure if it will be. Eventually, it will get us a lot of sugar cane, so I'm going to leave it for a little bit. And uh, we're going to head out over here. All right, so I'm going to see how much sugar cane we have in total after I break all this on the beach line. And uh, we'll see if we can make our enchantment table first, and then we can get all our bookshelves done after. Holy, this is a lot of sugar cane. We might actually have enough. All right, my dudes. So we have 264 stacks. I'm going to try this out. I'm not sure if our math was correct earlier, so I'll just try it out and see... How many books we can make here oh no we need to make three more books okay so we're three books short so that's okay we're gonna go collect up some sugar cane elsewhere so i came over here and we already have 10 sugar cane from it all right well i'm gonna go to sleep and uh wake up in the morning and uh we should be good to go we should have enough sugar cane by then uh before i go to sleep i should go harvest those crops and chop down these 
And these. And those. And last but not least, these. And we're gonna replant these. And an army of zombies is on its way to kill me. No, you wrecked my dirt. Oh god, it's another one. Let's go, let's go, let's get out of here. We gotta chop these pumpkins. Or these are melons. And uh, we can breed the sheep. I totally forgot about breeding the sheep. Why did I never breed the sheep yet? Oh god, ouch. Where did you come from? Look at all these zombies hanging out by my sugarcane farm now. All right, we have 13. Oh my god, that see, this thing's pretty quick. We already have um, 13 from it in that, like, three minutes. I totally forgot to breed my pigs. All right, time to go to sleep. All right, good morning, my dudes. All right, let's get this enchantment table built. All right, my dudes, we've built 52 books. That's actually over the amount we needed. Um, but let's make the enchantment table now. So to make an enchantment table, my dudes, we're gonna need two diamonds, four pieces of obsidian, and one book. All right, so let's make this bad boy. We officially have the enchantment table. Now we are going to need 15 bookshelves. So, um, what we're gonna do here is just put all these in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need lots of wood, actually, first. Um, so you meet, basically need to make a sandwich like that. Um, and then put your books in there like that. Okay, that's 12. And then that's 13. And 14. And we're almost done here. 15 bookshelves. That's what I'm talking about. All right, that looks awesome. So we have our 15 bookshelves and our one enchantment table. Um, also, I forgot to mention, you guys are going to need lapis lazuli. Lazo I don't know. I call it lapis lazuli. Um, and you're going to need that to actually enchant. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create an enchantment room. Um, I That's kind of why I went and grabbed all this quartz because quartz looks awesome. And we're going to actually make the enchantment room out of quartz. So uh, I'm going to find a place. i got to figure out a place and then uh, I'll be right back and we'll start making this. All right, so I decided I'm going to keep it basic. I'm going to build into here and uh, we're going to make an enchantment room into there. It kind of fits perfect right between the chests. So I'm going to get working on um, basically ripping this all apart and uh, building a small little tight room that we could just put our enchantment table in. So I'm going to need my shovel. So I'll be right back after I dig this all out, my dudes. All right, so I uh, I put our quartz, our block of quartz. Um, I made a bunch of blocks of quartz. Now we're going to make quartz bricks. Um, honestly, it sucks because it takes so much to make quartz bricks. But I love the look of them, so I'm going to do it. All right, so we're going to place it like that, a uh, three by three. And then uh, where's our enchantment table? I'm going to place our enchantment table like this. And then we're going to do bookshelf walls behind and at the sides. All right, so I think we're going to do one two three and then um i'm gonna have to fill in these walls with dirt here and then do one two three like that and then one two three and one two one two one two all right my dudes as you can see we surrounded the um the enchantment table with 15 bookshelves i actually have more than 15 because i plan on doing up here as well um, so you only need 15 and you only need to do this C shape. See, um, before I had it right here and you can't actually get level 30 here. You can only get level 24. Um, so we're actually going to pull it back to right in the middle and it perfectly could catch all the, um, enchantments from the books, um, that making it level 30 for, um, enchanting. So, um, as you can see, we have some enchantments here. Um, you guys are going to need Lapis Lazoo, and you're going to be able to put one um, piece in it at a time. So, here we can get Unbreaking 3 with level 30. Now, what this number means right here is this is how many XP levels it's going to take from you when you upgrade it. And uh, this is what level the um, enchantment is right here. It's a level 30 enchantment. This is a level 17 enchantment. This is a level 8 enchantment. Now, there's all kinds of different enchantments. I'm not going to go over all of them. Um, I would recommend using the Minecraft minecraft wiki for that um there's a whole whole area on minecraft wiki that goes over all the enchantments and it's super super handy so i recommend you guys check that out all you gotta do is type in enchantments um under minecraft wiki on google and you guys can get a whole list of enchantments but some of my favorite enchantments for a sword would be like i'm breaking three um sharpness um there's fire aspect that causes when you hit stuff it actually lights on fire it's so cool it's so worth getting um but our enchantment table, I mean, our enchantment room isn't totally done. Now, I'm not sure what I should do here. If I should get, because I kind of made it a little too high up um, that we're kind of in the dirt here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it 
or I'm not really sure. I could probably just fill this in with um, wood for now. And then uh, maybe eventually um, go upstairs and get rid of this dirt. Um, I'm not sure what's outside here. So I guess I'll just throw it like this for now. And uh, this will be good enough for me. But to start, uh, we're going to do one enchantment today. And uh, let's do Unbreaking 3 on our sword. That'll make the sword very, very strong. Um, it won't break as fast, obviously, because it's Unbreaking 3. And then as you see, we got Bane of Arthropods, I believe it's called. Um, now, Bane of Arthropods, I believe it attacks. Um, it helps with killing spiders, I think it is. It's something to do with that. I'd have to look on the wiki to tell you. But like I said, go on the wiki. Um, teach yourself all about the different enchantments you guys can collect and get. And uh, you guys can enchant armor. You guys can enchant anything, basically. Um, b b from tools to armor. Um, so it's pretty handy. I don't really recommend you enchant um, iron armor. Um, I'd probably wait and do like diamond armor. I'd get a full set of diamond armor. Um, but in the next couple episodes, we're actually going to be going over an enchantment for your pickaxe. That's called Fortune 3. Um, let's see if we have it. Oh, there's Fortune 1 right there. So uh, Fortune 1 and Fortune 2, Fortune 3, um, obviously number 3 is the best. But basically what it does is when you're mining stuff like coal or diamonds, you can actually get more than one diamond out of a block. It's like, a, I forget what the percent chance is. You'd have to check on the wiki. But um, basically it helps a ton with, enchant with uh, mining um, diamonds and stuff like that. And then Silk Touch actually um silk touch is like if you wanted to pick up a block like say bookcases um well bookshelves so when you if i go to mine this bookshelf it'll just break if you had silk touch on it'll actually just like actually uh like pop out as the block like if you get what i get what i mean if i break this right now it'll just turn into a bunch of books if i had silk touch on it would actually drop the block as a bookshelf so that's super super handy my dudes I'm going to change um, these furnaces out while I'm here um, before the end of the episode because I want to actually make them into... I want to make them into smokers instead. If you guys know what smokers are, smokers actually cook food very, very fast. Um, it's really, really handy to have and it's a lot better than uh, cooking stuff in a furnace. It's just a lot quicker. All right, we built ourselves a couple smokers. Um, if you guys didn't see it, basically you put a furnace in the middle and a log on each side like that in a cross shape. And uh, you get two smokers and we're going to place them right here. They look so much cooler than uh, furnaces as well. I love the look of them. And then we can throw our raw meat in there from the cows. All right, as you can see, these smokers work so much faster. Um, the meat gets cooked way, way quicker than the others. I'm gonna grab some torches and light this room up. Um, this is really bugging me. I feel like we need to keep this open and we need to get another bookshelf. Also, another cool thing I figured I'd show you guys today. Um, you guys can actually name your swords, which is really cool. So I'm gonna name this um, something cool. What should it be? All right, I'm gonna name it something. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Sword of Epic. Uh, because it's di it's our diamond sword. So there we go. We got Sword of Epic. Um, also, I forgot to mention, um, we did get a name request. Um, we will be naming the cats. Um, somebody picked a couple names. So we're going to be naming the cats once we find some name tags. All right, Marshmallow. Well, Marshmallow says that's going to be it for today, my dudes. So basically, we went over how to enchant, um, what you guys need for enchanting. We went over a zero-tick sugarcane farm. It's going to come in super, super handy for you guys. How to get leather, um, how to build enchantment tables. Make sure to go check out the Google, like the Wikipedia, the Minecraft Wikipedia for the actual enchantments and what they do and blah, blah, blah like that. Because you guys are probably going to love all the different enchantments you guys can get. Why does it look like it's raining in my house? Hold on here. But what, what is going on here? Do you, do you guys see this? It's raining in my house. Oh, now it's not. Okay, it must have been. Oh, it's only when you hit F5. That's so weird. But anyways, my dudes, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button. We're going to go for 40 likes. I know that's a huge goal, but let's try it out. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that sub button. We're on the road to 5K subscribers. I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys smash that sub button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Minecraft Bedrock Guide Series, my dudes. Peace out and have an amazing day.